Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, Director of Praxis Center, and today I want to talk a little bit about what it means to have a, a paradigm shift or a kind of shift in, in the way you're, you're thinking about yourself as an artist. Because for artists, one of the biggest um, you know hurdles and uh, difficulties and also aids is your sense of confidence, right? When an artist believes their work is great, when they feel great about what they're doing or have a sense of purpose and who they are, um, it's a little easier for things to move forward, right? But artists often um, labor under a, a type of imposter syndrome. It's, it's sometimes called that, you know, that the work may not be worthy or they may not be worthy. And, and how can they really say that this is, uh, you know, great art that I'm making or, or I am a great artist, something like that. Well, I want to tell just a short story about um, about that, which I think kind of illustrates that you have to kind of put forward what it is that you want to be first, who you feel that you are becoming, who you aspire to is really enough. So, for example, in this story, it was my first year at college at the State University of New York at Purchase in New York. And, um, and in the first semester, I had a teacher in a foundations class that was um, uh, talking about what it means to be at a school like this and who you are here. And so, you know, SUNY Purchase was more or less an art school, right? There was a lot of different types of, of disciplines there. And he said, look, some of you are here and you're probably wondering in your first semester of college, who am I? What am I, what am I doing here? What, 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 what am I going to be? And he said, meanwhile, around you, you're meeting people who say, I'm a dancer, I'm in the dance department, or I'm a musician, I'm in the music department, or I'm a filmmaker, I'm here for film. And he says, and that may make you think, you know, what, I, I'm not a filmmaker, though, I'm not a dancer, I'm not a, a painter, I'm not sure what I am yet, I'm trying different things. And he said, that's normal. He said, if you think about all those people who said, I'm a dancer, I'm a musician, I'm a filmmaker, he said, they haven't completed one class yet, and they're calling themselves by that definition. They're defining themselves as a type of artist already, and they literally have not completed one class at this college. They've just got out of high school. And he said, so the difference between those people and you is that those people are saying what they want to be, what they think they could be. And so, you know, I, I think this is really interesting, right? It's, it's, it's about that in some ways. It's about who it is that, that we want to be, how you present yourself. I'm an artist. I paint, you know, something like that. Or, you know, who you are um, and what it is that you do is, is easy enough to say, and that helps support who you are. Right, so this isn't about a, a, a kind of meditative mind shift. This is about a mind shift that's caused by changing your language, right? By saying who you are. For example, at that same time at, at, at SUNY Purchase, my roommate, um, who I was also talking to about this, this, and my roommate, um, you know, came from Bronx High School of Science. He was uh, taking liberal arts, and he also felt that he's not an artist, right? What he really enjoyed was um, was was martial arts, was capoeira and other and other dance forms too. But that was just as his kind of uh, on the side. And so one day he came back to the dorm and he said, "I realize I'm a martial artist. That's what I am, a martial artist." And, you know, to him, he was redefining that, right? This gave purpose to his life. Again, first semester, his life is ahead of him. He doesn't know what it'll be. But by calling himself a martial artist, it lends some kind of dignity to everything he's doing and makes it seem like he's an artist as well. Um, and, and, it's, and he's going through, basically what he's doing is going through various martial arts forms. So, you know, it's, it's how, you, how you present who you are how you say who you are. So um, so today, that's what I want to leave you with. This is um, about a, a paradigm shift, a change in mind, a change in the way of perceiving yourself, but only by changing the words you use when you're introducing yourself. If you say, hi, I'm an artist, and someone says, well, what kind of an artist? You know, what you say next, you know, is your choice, and it's only a small sentence of words, but it will, um, but it will define who you are. And then if the person asks more, you're moving more into that character. You are that. And you don't need to do any kind of mind tricks or, for this example anyway, um, mantras to kind of reprogram yourself. It's about just changing your words, your language, and how you present yourself. 
Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments, please comment below. And, and, and thank you all for, um, for watching and for all the great comments you've, you've shared. It's been, it's been great to see. So uh, I wish you well in your art practice. And again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask below.